it going everyone? Parth with Atlanta JDM here to show off another one of our imports. We just sat behind some stupid work truck for like 40 minutes just to go up the road. So we're going to go our usual route but just backwards. Um, today we're sitting in a 1994 Toyota MR2 GT. We've had several MR2s. We love MR2s. This one is a turbocharged one. GT is the highest trim level you can get. It's got the Alcantara suede, the turbos. These cars are really, really fun. Um, in Japan, they had revision threes. We did not get revision threes. Revision threes tend to be, not tend to be, they are actually um, factory, you know, more horsepower than the USDM MR2s we had here. Over there, the slick tops were more of an available option. This one is a slick top. I prefer them to the T-tops, but then again, you know, to each their own. The last turbo one we had was actually a, a T-top, and that went to our buddy Grant in uh, Boston. This clutch is brand new, so I'm still trying to get used to it. It feels really, really good, though. I actually drove this back from the port this week. We went on hours though on the interstate only thing I can complain about well definitely getting new tires those are ordered we're just waiting for uh, the tire shop to get them in stock and then um, just the shifter I mean I know it's like really petty and dumb but most MR2 shifters are like you know the Toyota ones are not that big this one's just too high up for my liking just my opinion though Easily changeable. This one's uh, got a little higher miles than uh, ones we've had in stock before. Still drives great. The owner definitely took good care of it in Japan. Um, you know, aside from a few little cosmetic stuff and a few interior stuff, I don't know if you can see the steering wheel right here, but it's a really good car. I like them. I love MR2s. They're really, really fun. They're they look really freaking cool too and you can't go wrong with pop-up headlights all right let's see if we that truck is still freaking going dude that was crazy line for two hours what two hours it was like maybe 20 minutes it's not gonna let me go dick Not as noisy as some of the other ones we've had in stock, but again, can't ever go wrong with an MR2. So it is very cold. Let's try and knock out this walk around so I can go home. Enjoy some Jameson and coffee. All right, we'll start by just doing a quick little lap. Love the way these cars look, always have. always do go over the boo-boos first 
There's two on the inside we'll go over when I get in there. A couple little things on the outside, but all in all, it's in really good condition. Got some, it's got Bridgestone st stickers everywhere. I don't know why, but dude obviously loved his Bridgestones. You can see that those tires were like, I wasn't lying, they're bald, bald. And they look dry. Yeah, they're dry rotted too. So we've got some a new set on the way just waiting for our shop to get them in stock. First boo-boo is right here. Oh, pretty much like, not the whole front bumper, but you've got some chipping right here. You've got some scratches on top. A bit right here. Some down there. And then right here there was some scuffage. Random stickers everywhere. Some of the same scratches from the front. Not everywhere on the rear, but slow pan for you. Given the miles, you know, it's got a couple things, but all in all, like I said, it's in really good condition. It's mechanically strong. It drives well. It handled really well from the port. And, you know, I was, I was in a rush to get home, too, so we were cruising. And then just the inside, like I said, there's two things. The main one is the steering wheel. It is the factory steering wheel, but just with age. And then always the driver's seats in Japan just need some kind of work. That side bolster. Leather is expensive <laughs> to fix. Let's finish up on the outside real quick. Get some ink case. I like the white on white. Not usually my thing, but looks pretty good. I guess that was it on the outside? Oh yeah, it's got an uh, aftermarket exhaust. This is Departure. Not familiar with that brand. the inside I just got the Osmo Pocket 2 Pro so I'm trying to get used to that thing and honestly you got some extra money you want something cool should definitely get the Pocket Pro 2. I think that's what it's called. It's worth every penny once I can get it all figured out. Like I was saying, you have aftermarket radio. I remember Japanese radios only go up to like 900 FM. I guess he had some subs in the back at one point um, definitely not there anymore but those are the controls for them I guess prehistoric and like I was saying it's got some miles it's uh hold on 266,524 which is i think like 165,000 miles 165,600 hold on i have another phone oh i went away shoot hold on two it's 165,595 miles so, 
again not terrible for here in Japan not so good everything else plastics are all intact headliners really clean um, dashes in good condition no cracks notorious MR2 things when they pop up like that right here and let's go on the other side so the shift knob is just a little too high for my liking Alright, these things are always broken. Pop rod. This one's intact. It's the 3S GTE, I believe. So it's a four cylinder 2.0 turbo. Really peppy little cars. Truck. Got a Supra sticker. Just got it cleaned. So there's some water that came through. Not much, just a little bit. Yeah. These are always a pain in the ass to open. So you just cheat codes. the frunk really clean get everything straight no signs of any accidents no rust some surface rust right there from underneath the wheel where the spare should be it's not bad though And it's already been converted to R134. So you're good to go. Get the key. there's a good MR2 at auction, 9 out of 10 times we're bidding on it. But alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's going to be it. See y'all on the next one.